In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create these tables so you can use them in Canva. And this is not a regular tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to create every single cell manually. This is different because we are going to be using a new feature in Canva that is going to allow us to do this pretty, pretty quick. Also, what I love about what I'm going to show you today is that we can change the color of the cells or the color of the borders of the table with just one click so if you guys are interested in this tutorial let's go to my computer today we are not going to start working from Canva we are going to start working from a Google spreadsheet as you can see on my screen and I'm doing this because this is going to allow us to create the table pretty quick so let's say that we want to create a weekly calendar. So I will start by just typing the days. So Monday. Okay, I have my days ready. And now let's start building our table. Let's say that I want to have eight rows below. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now let's add a color to my cells. So with this icon, let's add, let's say a light green. Now let's change the color of the first row and you can select any color because you will be able to change it later in Canva. Now you can add borders to your table. If you want to, I'm going to add all borders and I'm going to change the thickness of the line for the thickest one, this one, the third one. And lastly, I would like to adjust the height of every single row. Okay, I have my table ready and now let's go to file, download and select PDF. And here let's click on export. Okay, my PDF is already saved in my computer and now it's time to work in Canva. So I am here on my Canva homepage and I'm going to click on the create design button that we see on top of the page. In this menu, you will see the import PDF button, which is the new feature that I'm going to test here with you guys today. Because this is a new feature, not everyone has access to this button at the moment, but if you don't see it right here on your account, just be patient, it will appear suddenly. So let's click on import PDF and you will select the PDF that you want to import to Canva. Here you'll see your new PDF uploaded into your Canva account and let's open it so we can work on this table. Here we have our table. Let me close these windows and let me stretch it so we can see better what we have here. Here we have the text that we just created inside the Google Sheet. We can actually edit, let's say that we had a typo, we can actually edit this text right here. Every single text box we can change it, we can change the font if we need to or if we want to, we can change the colors, everything that we have here available in Canva. And now let's talk about the table. Let's click on top of the table and now we have access to the colors of the table. With just one click, I'll be able to change the color of the lines or the first row that we see here, the one in purple. Let's say that we want to change it for yellow or the other rows below. I don't know, you can choose the color. So I think this is a pretty effortless, easy way to create tables in Canva. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Will you use this hack? Are you going to use it? Do you like it? Also, if you liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you think this is useful, you can share it with your friends or colleagues. And if you want to continue learning about Canva, I'm going to share here two videos that I think you're going to enjoy. And also I'm going to share here here an affiliate link so you can enjoy a free trial of Skillshare. I think this is it for today. I hope that you have a good day and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!